Well, hello, fellow RVers. This is Gary with Rough Road RV Life. We like looking at freedom. Got Sharon behind the camera, and we're in Louisiana, close to Ville Platte, the city. So, where's freedom brought us? Well, that's brought us to Chico State Park. They don't put the T on there. As far as we know. As far as we know. So, we're going to do a tour of this park. There's a north campground and a south campground. The north side's closed. So, the tour is going this way, so let's go. We just want to capture this entrance with the blooming azaleas here in March. Little glimpse of the south, y'all. This is a Louisiana State Park. So it's quite spread out. So if there's one area in particular interested in, or if you just want to jump to the campground and take a look at that, check the timestamps below in the notes. So the first thing you come up to here is the entrance station. We're never sure where we go with our rig, but in this one, it's clearly indicated that we go to the right. All right, we just went through the entrance station. Look at the blooms. Spring has sprung here, or spring is springing. But yes, it clearly says campers keep to the right. And today is <clears throat> March 21st. It's 1035. Daylight savings. It's the first day of spring. Yep, and it's uh, 62 degrees and cloudy. Which is a good day to do a drive about because then we don't have the glare of the sun. So first stop here, we're going to go to the left and head down towards the Arboretum. It also has the North Camping Area, Primitive Camping Area, Conservation Lodge, those things to the left. Okay, almost red, but not all of this is open, so we'll share, you, share with you along the way. This is a nice ride and a nice walk, but we went bike riding just on the park roads and it was what, six miles or more? Something like Seven, that, yeah, yeah six just, something. Yeah, just driving around on the park roads and the campground roads, so a lot of roads here. And a lot of roads like this that are scenic with wildflowers blooming. And wild pigs. We've seen wild pigs. There's a really pretty swamp here. Take a look at that as we're going by. It was right around here that we did see our first hog sighting. The wild hogs are, you know, invasive, but they're so cute. So very quickly here, we come up on the Arboretum to the left. And this is a no pet zone. Yes, we were so excited about the trails next to the Arboretum and I don't know if it says or we missed it or what, but no pets on the Arboretum trails, but they have a some displays in here and some trails that you can hike from easy to more moderate. So it's a sanctuary and we get it. So we are still winding back here to the Arboretum. Speed limit is 15 miles per hour. There are deer in this park. And I'm sure all kinds of other little critters. I saw a raccoon the other night. No pets, bicycles, or picnicking. So there you go. So we're back out here to the road that brought us here. And we're going to go to the left and just show you where the north camping area is. If we find out the complete story of the North Camping Area, we'll put it down in the notes. But it is, on the website it says, it is co closed to house COVID patients. Well, here in March 2022, COVID has kind of died down and it's not so much um, people isolating 
away from everyone. So. Plus, it's barricaded off, so I don't think there's vehicles going. Right. Around. Yeah, it's not like if there are COVID patients there, they they can't get in and out unless there's another entrance that we don't know about. But yeah, there's a big um, LED sign, I guess, or you know, a, a lit up sign. Stop. No. Turn around. Close. Also, there is an extensive trail system around here. Well, it's like 17 miles, and part of it is closed because it does go through the north campground area. And so that is barricaded off, so you can't make the full loop around the lake. And I also think the North Foot Ramp and the lodges are over there too, right? Right, yes. So we can't actually show you the lodges. No. No, but what's really cool up here is you'll get to see the bridge that you can kayak to from the other campsite or boat ramp. Either one. And a nice little peaceful area. There's one fish on the bridge. But here's here's what you can paddle around if you're out here paddling your kayak. All right. Trail close right there. And there's a sign. Do not enter. Park closed. If you're wondering what's on the other side of the bridge, it just kind of goes off into this, these cypress trees. So, a little thick. And there's a barrier there for some reason. Coming back out to the main road here. Straight ahead is a group camping area. Turning left. Heading to the picnic area, south camping area, and cabins. Also the boat launch. Alright, here is a trailhead to access the trail that you saw. The I guess it's the what's the name of the trail? The Chico Trail. Chico Trail. Chico Trail South. Chico Land. Trail. We don't really know. Chico Trail. South Landing Trailhead. And it goes right through the woods there. It's beautiful. I saw deer little ups and downs. This uh, campground is, that. well this park, this state park is a little up and down, wouldn't you say? Yes it is, it goes like this. Yeah, much to Gary's dismay. Okay, so we're going to keep going past this and come back to it. I'm going to first go check out the cabins. But just so you see, that's a day you sorry over there. We'll catch that on the way back. And we're also going to go right by the campground and we'll catch that on the way back. If you want to check those areas out, check the timestamps below. As we go by the campground, we'll show you the entrance to the campground. 106 campsites nestled up in those hills. Okay, there's a hitch trail to the left. We'll show you that also when we're coming back this way. Boat ramps to our left. We'll catch that on the way back. Picnic areas scattered about. So to the right is 1 through 11. To the left is 12 through 15. So we'll head to the right. There's also a... What's a picnic area right there? There's also a fishing pier down here. It's a nice little walk out on the water. But everything is down, up or down. In the case of the fishing pier and the cabins, they're down. First stop, it's a fishing pier, down. Whee! I know, right? So that uh, fishing pier was quite busy over the weekend. That's a trail to the cabins. Yep. Heading down to the cabins. Check this out. Whee. Down. So some of the cabins are right down uh, near the water's edge. Some of them are actually built out over the water. But they're all very nice. And some of them have docks. So you can tie your boat up. 
is one, cabin one. And there's cabin two. Screen porches. So they have a little fire ring down beside them in the yard, I guess, so to speak. There's some grills right there. This one has a dock. And this one's set back a little bit. There's a woodpecker. Hey, Mr. Woodpecker. Very nice cabins. Yeah, they're large. <laughs> yeah, they have everything you need. There's cabin seven. There's a couple out over the Cabin water. eight. And there's one there. It's cabin 11. We are going to check out 12 through 15 in this area. So these are overlooking the water. Yep. And they have a dock. Yes, 12 and 13 right here. Overlooking the water. Okay, officially leaving the cabin area now and heading to the day use area and boat launch area. So boat launch first with some day use and then the day use area. Watch out for small kids, runners, bicyclists, and pedestrians. There's a bathroom and the overflow parking and picnicking that's near the boat ramp. The boat ramp's just on the other side of those trees. And this whole parking lot was full of boats weekend. Yep. Not only this parking lot, but the boat ramp parking lot. Yes. It was boat trailer parking central. There's a peak at the boat ramp, but we're going to go around here and drive down there and check it out. Apparently there's fish in this lake, right? Yes. Because we've been at two lakes prior to this and gosh I don't even know if I saw any boats out. Of course the weather wasn't stellar either. No fishing from the dock. Beware of alligators. Do not feed. Boat rental at office. No bat boating after dark without proper lights and they do have canoes to rent here. I'm not sure if those are uh, being used now or not but they're there then all your rules and information in there you see the boat ramp on the other side of this hill it's a day use area the playground of picnicking back out to the main road turning to the right Plenty of picnic tables and grills. Oh, the fun of cooking out next to a picnic table. Kids can run and play. Green space. Playground's right over to our left. Nice playground and a bathroom. There's our pavilion. As we're leaving here, we're going to go by the Kids Trail, which is so pretty at night. It has colored lights on it, and you can go along the trail and pick out um, animals. They have like cutouts of animals for the kids to look for. And it exits right here. It's not very long. Perfect, perfect if you have a little one with you. Hitch trail tucked up in there to the right. You might catch colorful mushrooms and the lights through the trees. And what you see right there is a splash pad and a bathhouse and a pavilion. Day use area picnicking. Little potholey around here. So that road to the left just takes you to some glamping yurts that do not appear to be in service at this time. But it does make for a nice bike ride and dog walk, right? Right. A lot of tetherball holes around. But there you go. Nice 
Pavilion. The moment you all have been waiting for. Hey, right, drum roll. We're going to the campground. Woohoo! What is this park? Like 6,000 acres or something? It is huge, and there are 106 campsites. I can't even imagine what it's like with the north side. I don't know how many are there, but there's a lot of campsites here. Loop D, okay, is 86 through 111. Loop A is 1 through 131. Loop B is 32 through 62. And loop C is 63 through 85. We're loop C. There's a bathroom right there. So this is loop A. Two is where that... Um, Forest River is. Yeah. Is that what that is? Yep. Oh, yep. That's a host. Danger, steep hill And here ahead. we go. If you ride bikes here, be sure your brakes work. There's site four. Now I'm going to go ahead and tell you... Yes, make sure your brakes work. We, we have a story about that. <laughs> we'll share with you in the wrap up. Thank God it wasn't us, but it's been me before. So here's a nice uphill for your bikes. Yep. So this is site six. So you'll notice that these, some of these sites are slopey and they have drop offs. Not all, but some do. So this right here is where you would come out of site of uh, loop D. We'll come back to loop D in a minute. And right here is where you would turn right to go B and C, but we're gonna continue on and check out A. So, eight is right there. Probably looking mostly on the right. Right now there's nothing on the left. There's only one site coming up and I'll show you that when we get there. Check the drop off on this site here. Yes. This area, and we notice the 20s are a little, just be careful. Site 10, some of these have tent pads and some do not. There's site 11, so a little slopey downhill. But if you are in these sites and there's the tent pad, the bathhouse is right there for this area. And there is 12 coming up. And then here's a little overview as we come down the hill. Um, numbers. 14 That's is 13, to, I think. Yeah, 14 is to the left. And 13, 15 is to the right. So the living area is downstairs. And that is a downhill. But you have that nice uh, deck. A lot of nice decks around here. There's some folks on our left, so we're gonna keep to the right. There's the living area for this one, number 17. And there is one on our left, but like I say, there's folks there. See that drop off? I missed the number there, but that's okay. All right, we're going to continue on around. That's if you're coming from Loop B and C area. And check these out. So this has campsites on the left and the right. There's people on the inside. So there's Site 20. We saw a lot of tenters in this area, or if you have a pop-up, smaller rigs. But they're definitely, uh, I mean, look how far away you are from your, check that one out. don't know the number. The numbers aren't visible on all these or they're, they're gone. 25 over here. Yeah, but that doesn't help me because 25 is on the wrong side <laughs> to take a picture. 25 was on that side and right here, I don't know. So, but you can see, you can, they do have a map online and they do have campsite pictures. But what I noticed was they don't really tell you the slope of the site, like sometimes you have. There's 27, and that's downhill, folks. There's a dumpster to our left. Gosh, how do you find your site when their numbers aren't posted? I'm just saying, I don't see a number at all on that one. It's 28, this is 29. Yeah, 28. 
29 right here. And there's the road that we just went on to the cabins and the boat ramp and all. There's some folks up here. Dump station to our left. And the bathroom. So this is where we entered. So this time we're going to go straight and we'll catch loop D. So we're going to jump to the higher numbers here. That's straight. Going straight. This is a pretty loop. There's a bridge on this loop. So to our left right there, that site you see coming up is site 84. The sites are nicely spread out here. There's 85 right there. There's nothing to our left right at the moment. And now coming up. 86 on the left. Yeah, 86 is to the left. Can't really get a good view of it. It's fairly level though, right? Wasn't it? There's 87. So you can kind of tell by the, from the pictures on the website. And here's a bridge that goes over this cute little creek. We're passing where that Class C is, is Site 88. And on the left, these are a little close together right here. 90, 89 on the left, 90 was on the right, sorry. 91 is on the left, 92 is right here. These aren't so bad, but you're, you're quite close to your neighbor. 94. Is right there and 95 and there is the bathhouse on this side it's 96 right there 97 and on the other side is 98 and 99 101 on that left and 103 these are considerably shorter aren't they 104 is on the right so here you have sites on the right and the left, and there, some are a little bit away from the, the next one, and some of them are pretty close together. And a tether ball. And another tether ball right there. And the last one on this end is site 108 right there. And we're coming back out to the sites that we've already passed. Site 7 was right across where that fifth wheel is. And we're going to come up and do loop B next. Actually, I think we could do B and then come back and do C. I do B and C together. So this part seems to be nice for longer rigs. Fairly level. 30. The only thing is you're, it's, you've got campsites on the left and the right. It's busy, busy, busy corner on the weekend. 31, 32... And that is a Wi-Fi. Yeah, they do have Wi-Fi here, and it works well. So, if you can imagine, there were a lot of campsite camp uh, campers here, motorhomes, all kinds of folks. It and goes it, from empty to full. Yes, but you see how close they are. There's the left side, and there's the right side. We're just passing 36 on the right, 38 on the right, but the the living space is the way it's kind of stationed is not too bad because you're in front so you don't really it's not right beside your neighbor that is 39 42 right there so all these are you know basically the same and everybody here was having a great time over the weekend backs up to the woods there's 46 
nice long level sights 47 now there are a couple on this inside that you might want to look out for that's a little slopey 52, 52. so a couple on the inside what that one is oh 55. 55 yeah but over here on this side not bad 54 56 little deck 56 is nice because you're on the end of all of this busy some of part. them do have decks yes okay so moving forward around our curvy road you get a little space break here from campsites yep Oh. 58. Yeah, these guys are kind of stuck out here by themselves. 58 is right here to the right. There's 58 and 60 next to it. And on the left 59. is 59 all by itself. It is downhill. 59 is just heads up. Here's a downhill one right here. 62. Oh, that's 61 right there. I'm looking at 62. That's the one I was... Okay, well, let's go ahead and do C. So now you're in C loop. So there's campsites to the left. Campsites to the right. And I'm stuck um, in the middle with you. Dangerous curve ahead. Bicycles. Use extreme caution. There's 63. A little downhill. And 64. 66 is on the left. 67, we're just passing. So it's hard to swing back and forth and get these numbers, but here's one. No one's in. 69, right there. A little uphill. And here we are. At site 72. We were a little nervous when we first pulled in here, but we just added some blocks to the front. We were okay. And right next to us is 70, to what, what is next to us? 74. Seven, we do like the deck. Yeah, we do like the deck. And the sites next to us, that one is not in use. Site 73. Site 71. Site 68 with the deck. And Site 66 beyond that. So if you have a kayak, you just come down here and pop your kayak in to the water. And you can go kayak to your heart's content. Or go fish. Whatever you want to do. Alright, and here's our dog walk area. <laughs> so there's one side at the top of this hill. Not a bad site. Nice and level. Site 76. There's a little happy squirrel cleaning up. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Oh, he went up the tree. 77 is right there. And we also have 78 on the left. So here's this little overview. You have 78 and 80 to the left. Little little downhill, wouldn't you say, on? Yeah, this was a busy corner. Yeah, 79 is to the right. You've got a lot of yard behind 78, 70, 79 over there. Yeah, you do. So there's a, a peek at these. 81 is right there. And 83 is right there. 83, you have a nice yard, if you don't mind the dumpster in your yard. All right, now we're going to go to the right and go finish. Did we finish B? I don't think there's anything up over here. What is there? I don't remember anything. All right, we're going to go around B. But I think that's the end of the campsites. Hmm? 
We want to show you this hill. Check it out. This is where you pull your poop tote. Yep. We have done that. We have really branched out, haven't we? We're now doing laundry at non-sewer sites, and these are non-sewer sites. Okay, yes, we're back around to where we were. So we have to go around the one-way way. And you would still be pulling your tote. Yep. And to walk the from our camp site at site 72 around these roads it takes it's about a 1.1 miles right I think it was just a little over a mile so it's a good little morning dog walk plus you get to work out your leg muscles because you got hills and, and there's you would still be pulling your poop toe. <laughs> and there's a lot of uh, places for your dogs to do their business and if you're lucky, they do it by one of those dumpsters. Still pulling the poop tote? Yeah, bouncing the poop tote along the road. And then here we are back at the dump station. The dump station. There you have it. We are back to go. And now we're going to go home and have some yummy homemade yogurt. So, fellow RVers, that was our tour of uh, Chico. Chico. No T. Chico. But there is a T, but no T. State Park here in uh, Ville Platte, Louisiana, which is about 15 minute drive from here. And there's a locally owned supermarket there called Teets, T E E T S. That is a it's a nice little supermarket, and we actually tried Boudin, B O U D I N, which is a Louisiana delicacy. We did try it. Pretty good. Right, you can get it cooked there, yes. ready to eat, and we also bought some and cooked it ourselves. So, yeah. so it was it was rather quite tasty. Quite tasty. Yeah, it was delicious. There is also a Walmart there and a Dollar General. Mm -hmm. We had pretty good Verizon service here. Yes, we were yes. a little worried when we pulled in because we did not even have enough service to call each other. We usually call each other on the way. We unhook and we drive to the, our campsite. And we communicate, you know, whoa, I, Gary, I went the wrong way. <laughs> Don't come this way, like that. But we couldn't even get a call out. We got here, it's been fine. It's been fine. So. Now, I don't think anywhere on the website or these papers do the, does it mention Wi-Fi service, but I saw a Wi-Fi wi tower here spread out throughout the parks. And I went on and sure enough, and I logged on, no password, and it worked fine. Yeah. So, I believe there is a, a Wi-Fi system here in the park. Right. So, we have been connected. No problems. Right. And as we said during our tour, there's lots of roads here. They're, now, they're up and down. <laughs> so, uh, if you want to ride your bikes, walk your dogs. If you ride your bikes, when they say dangerous curved bicycles, pay attention to it. Yeah. So, about that, this hill that goes right down, you can see it goes right down to the water and goes around a curve. In and, that and do steep, some ruts, a tree, and water. Steep, dangerous hill. Gary saw a young lady pulling her child behind her in a trailer. Her husband was up in front of her in his bike. Yeah. And she started going down this hill, and she went to hit her brakes, and it wasn't stopping her. Yeah. She started dragging her feet. She's yelling, it won't stop, it won't stop. But uh, he went out there and, and, and kind of grabbed her and stopped her before... Uh, yeah. She wound up in the rut, the tree, or the water down there. But it was, uh, in your, a way, it was a little comical, but, you know. Scary. That yeah. it, it, If she had not have been able to stop, that's a, a it, because the road just drops off, and then yeah. there's washouts and everything. She, she so was it dragging been, her feet, and rocks were kicking up, and she yeah. was panicked, and it was, yeah. I laugh because that happened to me when we were in uh, Pennsylvania. Was it in Pennsylvania when that happened? Could I don't have been. Know. Anyway, there was a hill. I didn't check my brakes. Just brakes just seemed to quit working. Why? I don't know. But anyway, uh, I had neither front or rear brakes, and I was heading down to a stop sign, down a hill, going fast, and I just blew through the stop sign. Fortunately, the dump station was around, was right there, and I'm doing the same thing. I I have my feet down. My I wear uh, clip-ons, and so <laughs> I'm sure I was throwing up sparks. 
these people are looking at me as they're dumping as I scoot around there and just like, I'm like, I can't stop. So yeah, check your brakes. <laughs> that, that's what I learned from that. Before I ever get on it, I double check my brakes. And so, be mindful. <laughs> uh, this was very busy here in the weekend and then uh, come Sunday afternoon, the exodus, you know, typical campground. But uh, right. it, was a, it was a pretty busy park here over the weekend. Uh, well, somebody was having a birthday party over there and there was a lot of people over there and the stuff. People were super friendly. Oh yeah. Like, we had a lot of people stop by and chat and uh, that was nice. Yeah. I have one guy give me what, 15 dozen eggs or whatever's in that container. 18? Not, not dozen. It's no, eight, a, a pack 18, of 18 eggs. 18 eggs. We, we got eggs. <laughs> yeah, he just flagged me over and says, you want some eggs? In that Louisiana accent, yeah. whatever that is. <laughs> Cajun French accent. Yeah. So, but uh, it's been a pretty nice day here. You know, if you're going to book something here, be sure you check your, it's, it's hard on the website because they don't give grades on the, on the yeah, I, sites. But. And the spot checks that I did, I did not see where it, that information was given. So, uh, but, some of them are slopes. But there are pictures there. So, check yeah. the pictures. Um, you know, the, the 20s were a little eh, and the ones right before that, I can't remember what they were. This seems to be a popular loop here. This, uh, what are we in, Sea Loop? Sea Loop. Sea Loop. Yeah. It's, um, and the, the sides, some are spaced out and some are right close. I mean, Pretty like, close. if we had our neighbor here, we, we wouldn't see our view. But at the same time, when we did have neighbors here, we had our, our own little living space yeah. here, so we were fine. And the deck is nice. It's a uh, it's an asphalt site, and uh, it was pretty level. We did use a one one set of little boards yeah, it, on our front, but it, it wasn't bad at all. We got 50 amp service and water, mm -hmm. so uh, quite nice. The wind is picking up. Yeah, I hope you can hear us. Yes. <laughs> There's plenty of room to walk your dog on the roads. There's trails, but like the trails that operate them, dogs aren't allowed on, but they are allowed on the, the Chicot Trail. So you can take them on that, you do it in and out. And um, I did kayak. I kayaked from our, our the water right down here to the bridge where the north campground is and back. And that was about seven miles. So it took about three hours. Really pretty, peaceful. And apparently the fishing is pretty good here. Yes. I actually saw a lady bring in a fish because as I was kayaking by the cabins, she was fishing and brought up a, a good size little fish. I don't, I don't know what a good size is, but anyway. <laughs> Non-fisherman here. Non-fisher lady. <laughs> so I guess we're going to wrap this video up now, right? Oh, I want to say yeah, one, more, one thing. more thing. Yeah. One more thing. That's why I hesitated there. <laughs> I do love the deck. So a lot of these uh, campsites have decks. Ours does. Some of them don't. And some of them have tent pads and some of them don't. But I mean, you can see this deck over here. It's just a nice living space. It's nice. Some of them are up higher and overlooking the hilly park, the hilly woods, but very pretty. Okay. So now, I just want to share that because the, yeah. the decks are really cool. So now we're going to deck on out of here. <laughs> this is Gary and Sharon, and we are Rough Road RV Life. Please click like and subscribe. Follow us on our journey as we head our way out west. We hope to see you on the road. Say hi if you see us. Yes. Take care. Take care.